from Mountain View, California, it's theCUBE, covering the 15th Annual Grow Awards. Brought to you by ACGSV. Hi, Lisa Martin on the ground with theCUBE at the 15th Annual ACGSV Grow Awards at the Computer History Museum in Mountain View. Can you hear the buzz? of 230 plus attendees behind me. I'm very pleased to welcome one of the ACGSV board members, Dr. Shampa Banerjee, Technology Executive and Chief Product Officer at Eros Digital. Shampa, thank you so much for giving us some of your time this evening. Thank you, it's a pleasure. So lots of great, innovative, and inspiring conversations, no doubt, going on behind yeah. us. I'm trying to listen to it. Yes. <laughs> So talk to us a little bit about Eros Digital, who you are, what you do. So Eros International is the largest studio in India. It produces or distributes around 60 to 70% of the films made in India, Bollywood films. So I run this streaming platform, the Netflix for Bollywood, you know, that's what I call the it. The Netflix for Bollywood, I love that. Tell us more about that. So, um, you know, it's a streaming platform. It's a lot, of the, a lot of the titles are from what we produce. A lot of the titles we lease, you know, from other pr production houses. And, and then it's the entire technology platform. And then how do you get to the, uh, we, we connect the consumers, rather, to the entertainment, to entertainment right? So, um, the way I like to, we help them discover, we help them have indulge, in the whole experience, and then as they keep coming to us more and more, we personalize the experience for them. So that's really what we give them. You know, personalization is so key. We expect it, right, in our lives, in what it, whatever it is that we're doing, if we're engaging with an Amazon or a Netflix or an Eros, for example, we kind of now expect them, we're sort of demanding consumers, right? We expect them to know what I want, just what I want, don't give me things that I don't want. So is that one of the things that you've seen maybe surprising in your career is this increasing demand for personalization? Absolutely, because you know there's so much content out there, so much information, and unless there's a filtering me mechanism that makes sense for you, people don't want to, you know, it's very hard for them. You know, so they want you to do the work for them. It's entertainment, right? So absolutely, everyone kind of expects it. It's not said. You know, it's not explicit, but that's the expectation. And obviously, with the goal of delighting and retaining those customers, you as the chief product officer have to listen and react to that. I mean, you know, I spent, I'll tell you a short story, I spent once a month going through all the customer comments in different platforms, right? And one of the stories I read was this 17-year-old French gal in Paris, she loves watching Bollywood because um, she was uh, suffering from leukemia and after she gets a treatment, you know, and uh, she comes, you know, uh, she comes home, she wants to watch something that makes her happy. And uh, we had some issues with our subtitles and she was having a problem watching our movies and she begged, please bring them back. And I, you know, ran out of my office, went to my team and I said, guys, this is who we wake up for every day. This is, you know, we give her joy, we give her pleasure. You know, so to me, you know, that's how, so listening to the customers to me is primary. To me, they're my biggest stakeholder. And I've told the CEO and founder that, look, at the end of the day, I leave and argue with you if it doesn't serve my customers. So that's what I believe, you know, listening to them, understanding, of course, we do a lot of data collection and we look at what they're doing and the patterns. And based on that, we make modifications. We test different things, you know, to see what makes sense, what's working, what's not working, you know. Because people don't always tell you, you know. And even if you ask them, they're shy to tell you, right? But then you can see what they're doing, and that's a far better, a better indicator. Well, that must be, make you feel really good seeing and hearing and feeling the impact that you're making. And speaking of impact, you have been, in the last minute or so that we have, you've been on the board at ACGSV for about the last five years. We're here tonight to honor uh, Arista, as the Outstanding Growth Award winner and Adesso Technologies as the Emerging Growth winner. But really quickly, Shampa, what makes ACGSV worth your time? So ACG honestly is a fantastic organization and you know, living in the Bay Area, there are many organizations, there are many events that are always going on, you know. ACG has been a place where I've seen it's a very, very, very diverse organization. Uh, of course, I still wish there were more females, you know, 
but it's a very diverse uh, organization, people of all ages, people from different walks of life, different kinds of companies, you know, and people are very, very collaborative. They help each other, you know, to do business. I've become personal friends with many of them, but you know, the main thing is, you know, you come here, if you're new to the Valley, especially, whether as a company or as an individual, this is one of the best places to come to because it's not too large, it's not too small, it has the right, you know, um, the right number of people, and it helps you quickly on board. They'll introduce you to people, introduce you to events, and they give you, um, they give you what you need to kind of get started in Silicon Valley. So to me, it's like, um, when I joined, I joined before I was on the board, almost, I don't know, seven or eight years ago, and I've seen this whole thing transform. Uh, it's just an excellent, supportive, um, you know, uh, you know, people are very uh, open-minded, great ideas, you know, and it's just an excellent organization, love it. So I, I, it's, worth it, it's worth my time, you know, to take the extra hours and kind of, I would love to see this get even bigger and more diverse and more interesting. Well, it sounds like, I love how you kind of described ACGSB as the Goldilocks type of organization. Not too big, not too small, just right. I like Sean, it. But we thank you so much. I wish we had more time to talk uh, as a female in technology, but we'll have to have you back in the studio on theCUBE. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for your time. For theCUBE, I'm Lisa Martin. Thanks for watching.